another Timu order, and it's going to be a good one. Why? Because I ordered it when I was in Australia or somewhere on the high seas. So um, we were going to open it to see what it is. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, thank you. If you're old to my channel, a more big thank you, because that means you've stuck with me for almost a year. I've been on doing channels. So being on my channel, be making YouTube. So I was just looking here at my stuff I need to put away and do all this. Don't look. All right. I'm sorry. Now I have to come down because YouTube is not good. I mean, not YouTube. I mean, do I need to start over? No, I don't want to start over. Timu is not good unless you can see a table and have the products shown to you in a correct way. All right? I don't want to show it in the air. I want the table. Okay, here it all is. What did I buy? All right, you know winter is coming. You know I live in Siberia here in Wyoming. We have snow on the mountains. We have more snow coming all the time. I'm going to turn this off. Is that better? It's too glary. And so we have to plan on winter. We have to get ready for winter. We have to know, put away our summer wardrobe because you can't wear shorts. You can't wear sandals. You want long sleeves. So put all that stuff away. Forget about it. You gotta think, get in your winter mode. So for $3.89, I got me some long socks. Now I have boots in every color. And when I go to church, this would match this one today. When I go to church, I like to wear boots. I don't wear my boots until we get rain or snow. I see some people wearing boots in the summertime. Wrong. I knew somebody who went to a funeral in August in Salt Lake, hot, hot weather. They're wearing black rain boots. Wrong. Say, wear your sandals in the summer and enjoy. And in the winter, wear your boots, in the snow and in the rain. And these are the best socks for boots. I'm talking your Sunday boots, your tall boots. These are it. So I wear these and they come up over my knee and then they keep me warm because sometimes it's just so cold where you go in church and stuff. Now these look really nicely made for $2 a pair. They're nice. I might order some more in other colors because you know, I like to match my dresses with my boots and with my, I've shown you my boot collection before. I could do that again because I know people don't like going back and looking for the videos. Somebody wanted to know how Jamie and I met. It's there. I made a video. I made a video of my stalking. Stalking. S-T-A-L-K-I-N-G. I had a stalker. My ex-husband was stalking me. Bad. Broke into my house. Strangling me. Watch that video. If you're bored one day. Okay, what else did I get? <clears throat> this was $10.02. It's going to be good. Another neon. Well, I had the best neon sign ever. And my daughter gave it to me. But something happened and it stopped working. It might be a fuse. Now, Todd and Emily are coming. Todd's an electrician. So, I'm going to have him look at it and see if he can figure out why it's not working. Because my daughter gave it to me, and I know she paid a lot, and it's beautiful. Hillary. And guess what? Hillary Moo is moving in this most beautiful house. I hate my house now. Because her ha my house is 20 years old. Her house is new. I don't know how old it is, my, you know, a year old or something, but they bought, they're buying it. 
and they, oh, it is just beautiful. I got to show it to you. I'm going to go do a video, but they're just moving in. I don't know if she wants me to wait to video it when she's all settled or when it's empty. I got directions. I have a garbage sack right here from yesterday. Not that it's that hard to pick the garbage up when I'm done. Guess what it says? I like it. Material mom. That's all I'm gonna get. I You have to buy, when you buy these in order and personalized, they say one letter, two, no, they don't do one letter. Three letters, four letters, you know, you order. And then the more letters, the more you pay. If I would have known that, I would have named my channel Mom. But I got it cheaper then. Okay, I'm pulling this off. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it right here. It's going to go right here. I'm just going to have all kinds of light up material mom signs. This is my plan. So that if um, you don't know the name of my channel, are you wondering, what am, who am I watching? You can just read it back there. And you're going to think, this, this woman is a mother, and she must have a lot of material. My one friend thought I was going to have fabric. Uh-oh. But no, my material is not fabric. My material is everything that I know in life. Does it, some of these don't have a turn down, but when you're on air, look, woo, we got to have a turn down. Does it go down, 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 down? Come on, keep going down. For $10, material mom. Look at this. Isn't it cute? Look, this could be my, I have a, I have a new thumbnail like this. This will be good. This is when you don't have a very good, a very good makeup day. Okay, sorry. I like it. I am so happy. And thanks. And uh, after Christmas, it will be perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect for everything. It's gonna go right back here. Okay. Thank you. It's one. This is my favorite one. Why? Because. It's like these little letters are, I don't, how do they light them up? I don't get it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Another one of these cords to plug in. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to hang that up. Next time you see me, it will be there. I promise. Because I like to keep promises. All right, where's my language? User manual. It's not a manual. It's a user page. I'm going to cut these other languages off. Okay. Put this over here with all my papers. Oh, I'm hot. Here's this. I got this last winter from Timu. This sweater. They're real thin sweaters. I wish they were a couple of inches longer. But maybe when it's wet, when I wash it. Next time. And then when it's wet, you step on the hem and you go and stretch it. I do that to all my shirts because I want to try to cover my front butt. All right, I got these for Jamie because his Fitville shoes are just a tad bit wide and big. They run big. So these were only 90 cents. Now, I'm not going to tell him about it because he'll grumble and go, why'd you waste money? I don't need it. I'm just going to put him in the shoes. And maybe he won't notice, but maybe he will. I wonder if he's wearing them today. The problem is sometimes you put these in your shoes, then when you step out, they all come out too with your sock. He'll grumble. He'll, he always has a problem. I try to fix and solve his problem, but then he always grumbles about it. So I already know he's going to do it. All right. Here's another dream of mine. I pay a lot for this dream. $9.89. It's probably stupid. But you know, the last few orders from Timu, wait, my brother calls it T-Mew, Mew. 
like a cow. I mean, like a cat. I haven't had to send anything back. Now that is good. All right, I paid extra because I wanted to know if this would really work on those days when my hair is dirty, they packaged it well. There's not even an opening in this net. I always think I'm gonna save these nets because I used to buy them. In the 70s, I wore curlers to bed at night. And I would put a net around, a net like this, it was a little sturdier than this. And I would put my curlers in my hair and I would put the net on it over the curlers and they stayed all night. Then they didn't fall off. So I was always gonna think I'm gonna do that because then I could live like in the 70s again. Now this one, I don't know. I measured my hair. I didn't measure very good. I'll show you how I did it. They have these at all the different hair lengths, 14 inches. and But if I got a 14 inch, make my hair go straight right here. And it says it's 19. So 14 inches would come right here. And then my hair would hang below and it would look stupid. I didn't want that. So I had to get this length, which is, I think, 20. But... I wanted it to cover my whole hair. And then, all right, I gotta do this right, okay? Okay, let's get up here. And let's take this spread out. So it's gonna be my dream come true. Because there's some days, I didn't curl my hair, I don't wanna curl my hair, I'm tired. I look like crap. I have to hurry. It's pretty good color and it looks pretty good. For $10, I could just put this headband on over my hair like this. Hey, I gotta get my man because the camera is not doing it good enough. Hey, see, and then this covers I can trim this, because you know I know how to cut hair. Let's see, my own hair is right here. So it's about an inch, that's perfect. And then, I, it's kind of heavy. Look, I think it will trick people. Spray, I need to spray a little dry shampoo on it, because then that looks, what makes it look not so shiny. I finally found it, except I think I would have to put a bobby pin in it because I think this would just fall right out. I got one here. Now, somebody worried that I was using my new teeth. I'm not, I used my back teeth, my old back teeth. Yeah, I think I would want to bobby pin this on. Where do you put a bobby pin, I wonder? All right, right here, yeah. Oh yeah, that feels better. Cause you know, nothing more embarrassing than when your wig falls off. I never had it happen, but I'm sure it would be very embarrassing. Okay, I've seen shows about it. <laughs> yeah, I straightened my hair today. People will go, oh, your hair. Yeah, I straightened it today cause I wanted the straight look. It, made, it came out really shiny when I straightened it. I want to order another one. I wonder if they still have them with glasses. Let me see. It's kind of, you feel the hate, the weight of it. I got, a 20 inch camel. Camel color, this isn't the color of a camel. My son voted yesterday in um, Michigan. Tr uh, Trevor just told me this. Well, Tyson said he voted yesterday and it took two hours waiting in line after work. And we thought 
let's, they went go vote and they didn't get to eat dinner until 8.30. He lives in Michigan. All right, then Trevor said, it says that six out of 10 view the economy negatively. You think? I think that number is low. Oh, I, I have something to say about that. Our lines here are never that long. This is Trevor. Rural area, I guess. We can go vote and be back home in 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> it's true. Um, I am just sick about the prices of things. I went to buy Halloween candy. I was horrified at the prices of Halloween candy this year. Now, we don't get very many because, you know, we live up on a hill and no, none of the kids want to walk up here or anything. And so, um, I'm lucky. But I went, they had the Shasta Pop, Soda Pop, and it's cheap. And so, I bought some of that. I'm going to give each kid a can of pop when they come trick-or-treating. It'll fill their bags don't every kid I know, I haven't known a kid yet that didn't like pop and they're getting enough candy. So I would be love it if I got a pop for uh, trick or treat when I was a kid, I never got it. And my granddaughters all said they would love that idea. You don't have to give candy. You could give other things. That's what I thought anyway. So I got pop. I got strawberry kiwi. Okay. Here's my order. I think. I didn't get everything in this order because it's delivered in two packages. Okay. All right. View receipt. Let's just look at my wig. Is it in this order? No. Why wouldn't it be? I ordered some more Master Thermal Gloves. They didn't come yet. They're in a separate package. Oh. I really want to look at this, what I bought versus what I got. Yeah, those are kind of, kind of, and I ordered some perfume and it has to come in a different package. But when you order from Australia, I just can't believe I got to go to Australia. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought I could have enough money and someone to go with to Australia. I didn't see Hugh Jackman. I wanted to see Hugh Jackman. He's so cute. I love his movies. Nicole Kidman. Her husband, what's her husband's name? They have two kids. That's their cute little family, happy family that works hard and has a lot of money. They probably don't live where I was though. Because I think we stayed in the China district, the Chinatown district of Australia. And those Chinese people are cute and smart and they're all put together. They knew where they were going. They just looked at us while we talked. Like, well, you guys, that must be from America because you are loud. Why would it? Was that the one? If I ordered that and it came in this order, why would they even mess that up? Well, let's just, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing this right now. But braided headband wig long. Oh, I did already did order another one. This one is curly and it was cheaper. But that's not this one. And I only owe 480. Can't wait to get that one. So I don't need to order another one because I already did. But maybe I'm going to wear them all the time. Now that I found out that they're wonderful. Now, do they come in blonde? Carolyn, my sister could get one in blonde. Carolyn, what do you think? Let me see. Synthetic long woman half toppers with fishbone headband clip on hair is there clips i didn't feel any clips i don't want to take it off i'll look if, because if there's clips i don't need to bobby pin it but i didn't see any clips oh yeah there is it shows on this one and they do have blonde all right here they have 
blonde. Oh, it's called Milky for Carolyn. Camel. I got Camel. Light brown, deep gray, black, dark brown. I wonder if dark brown would be better for me. I'm going to add it to my cart just in case I want to look at it later. But Carolyn, you'd have to get 20 inches. I don't think she wants to go that long. You could cut it. She knows how to cut hair. Here's Trevor at school. They wore t-shirts that are food packets. They're pretty funny. He said it was easy. Here's what Trevor for Halloween yesterday or the day before. They are food packets and they ordered those shirts. Funny. I didn't dress up for Halloween. Why? Because it's nonsense to me. Couldn't see any. And I ordered this for Trevor and it didn't come. A giant woodcracker. All right. Enough wasting time. Okay, what did I get next? All right, you're going to think I'm crazy. Or you already know I am. But I'm going to tell you this. When I was in Australia, I... Well, when I was in, we went to Hawaii, Fiji, no, Hawaii, Morea, beautiful place. Fiji, Tahiti, then Fiji. Okay. So, everywhere we went, you know, I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Because um, I didn't have room in our suitcases. But I wanted to buy a sticker from every place. Well, the stickers from every place, they are a lot. So Carolyn and Amy and I, when we were on, we know we looked on the internet because we were able to when we reached land. And this is why I ordered these, my own stickers from these countries. Go on team, if you're going on a trip, here's the tip. If you're going on a trip and you're going to go to these weird places that I went, well, they're pop popular places, really. Then order all of your key, your souvenirs on Timu. They have them all. They have t-shirts, everything. A fraction of the cost of if you really go to that country. Here is Tahiti, French Polynesia, a sticker. I wish they were a little smaller, though. I might have to order more smaller ones. Sydney, $1.15. Uh, these were 77 cents. 90 cents. That is Australia. And they have two different Australian ones. 90 cents. And then here is Fiji. Dollar one. Now, I like these. These are 42 cents, smaller ones. I got all my stickers. They were like, I remember being in, uh, I couldn't even find any in Fiji, in Tahiti. And they were like, you know, $5 for one little sticker. So order them wherever you go. I'm sure they have ones from France. Look at all of these Hawaii ones for $1.19. So, you know, if you're going on a trip, now these aren't very nice, though, because they're dull, but aloha. They're supposed to be waterproof, and they could go. Here's Hawaii. I'm not allowed to give Hillary's kids any more stickers. Off to have a nice time in Hawaii. Venice Beach, Hawaii, paradise. So, all these Hawaii stickers. Guess how many times I've been to Hawaii now? Three. Three times. So, but guess what? I like Morea better. But it's because it's a little town. I didn't see any hotels there, though. But I did see... Those huts that are built out on the water. 
I'll stay in one of those. Okay, I got some jewelry from, this was $2.70. You know, like I have those bracelets that are like Pandora. And this has a little koala bear. Because koala bears are from, and it's a stay. So when you take the bracelet off, the beads don't fall off on each side. I like it. And I got silver one. That's right here. I'll, I'll see if I have one in here to show you. I do. Here's my one from my va vacation beach travels. Okay, see, if you don't have this chain that holds this side to this side, then when you open it, there these this isn't here. And if you happen to drop it, they'll all fall off. And that's happened to me. It happened to me once. And then I decided, <laughs> I'm getting the guards. And so I have a new bracelet here that I want to build from this trip. And I bought a whole bunch of them because I thought my granddaughters would like them, but they didn't show any interest in them whatsoever. And I was saying, and I could get you a new, you know, thing every holiday, birthday and everything, and you could build upon it. And they didn't go, oh, that would be fun. They just looked at me like, so I didn't do it. So now I have all the pieces. So, um, this is how you do it. Now they, some people like long videos. So if you think I'm dragging this out, it's for the people who like long videos. All right, now to open it, this is the perfect thing to open the little slit here like this. And then you're going to cut yourself. No, I'm not. Okay. Did it. All right. See how it opens. So then you put one end on. See if it fits. Yes, it does. It's going to. It has to fit tight. These don't open. It has to fit tight on here so that... Oh, you have to screw it on, kind of. Because you do not want it to fall off when you do it. Okay. It's coming. It's coming on. Well, it's coming off. Oh, there's a little rubber thing in there too to hold it. Each end has a rubber thing. They thought of everything to make it secure and good. So I think you just push it on. Yeah, you do. And it goes through the rubber thing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now my net bracelet's ready to build with uh, things from Hawaii, Australia, Fiji, and Tahiti. Tahiti was cool too. Okay, that was only uh, 270. Now this was 219, and I got these for everybody. But they're stu it's stupid because they didn't go there. So maybe I should just give one to Amy and Carolyn. And they're little koala bears, and they have a magnet on the back. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. I don't know anything metal. Is a spoon metal? Yeah. See? Oh, sorry. Upside down. Those are cute. So I have plenty, I have freezers and fridges. I'm going to put them on everywhere. Yeah, I got that in Australia when I was there at the little place I got my, what's that card called? That you ride the buses with? Forgot. And everybody has to get one of these from Australia. $3.18. I know David bought four of them at the airport. And it's real wood. You can see the wood's chipping right there. Yeah, I got the kangaroo one at that same store that I got the koala bears. I don't care. They're not going to know. 
that I didn't stand in line. And here's another one. I didn't look at this one. 397 and 318. Do you think they really, we could throw them and they'd come back to me? Doubt it. Not going to throw them until grandkids are here to go after them if it doesn't come back. Oh, yeah. I'll have to look on YouTube how to throw it. Are they the same? They're about the same. Yes, an Aborigine made these. We bought them from the Aborigine. I hope I'm not being racist when I say that. I don't know if it is or not. Okay, I got this. Five ninety-seven. That's a lot for something good. What it is it? Nice box. I'm going to use to re-gift it in. Something in. <clears throat> All right, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna put this on my bracelet. This, I, it costs a little more, right? Because it's personalized. And you can hardly see what it's personalized of. But it is so cool. Jamie and I, if you get your picture of Jamie and I, well, you don't get it. You get another picture of um, you and somebody. And they do it on a little, one of these Pandora things from our trip. Oh, that is so special. I love that. That's my favorite thing in this whole haul so far. Well, and my wig. Seeing if my own hair shows through, is it gonna look weird? No, not to me. All right, here's socks. $1.27. They are, were like expensive there. I couldn't afford it to get Australia ones. I might give these to Grant. The koala's not too happy though, but they look pretty big. Okay, let's look at the, I got more of them. And I got these koala bear ones. They look smaller. How much were they? $1.38. These were a little more. Oh, and they have the flag of Australia. These are feel more nitty. These feel more, I don't know. They're the same size, okay? They're shorter, okay? And then I got these, $1.27. I'll keep these for myself because they're pink. Another koala bear. Yeah, these are smaller for girls. I love them um, with the one koala bear here and here. Uh, yeah, I got them in Australia. In Sydney. Those are mine. Put them over there. So I'll ask Grant, which ones do you want? You only get one pair because, you know... Jamie might want some too. So, Grant, but now all of the kids are wearing Nike socks. At Kyler's, little Kyler's birthday party, was he 14 or 15? Probably 15. He had, um, uh, four boys were there. All of them had the same sock, Nike sock, not very tall, but not short. Nike sign on it. All of them. Same socks. They probably got one package and divided it up. They could have all worn the same ones. <clears throat> 232. Another one. I don't know why I got two because I forgot I bought one. I do that a lot. But this is different. It's pink. So it is a koala bear in pink. It's cute. I get up this afternoon. Now, it's not a guard one to stay on, so I'm glad I didn't get... It's not like the other one. This is not a guard. This just is uh, one hanging on a swing. You carry moonbeams home in a jar. What's that song? 
you like to bath as you are. You could be swinging on a star. I put it on backwards, of course. 50-50 chance to get it right, and they're both backwards. I'll do it later. Okay, what else? Another one. And this is the same as that one. 278. And this one was 232. Oh. So this one I'll probably give to Amy because she has these two. All right. Is that all my Australia? Look, a mouse ate in the bottom of the sack. Yes, that's all the Australia things I ordered from my trip. Mostly from Australia. Some from Hawaii. I already had Hawaii chachis, though, or memories. So I didn't want to get them again. But I am going to be looking for some more Pandora memories from my trip. I could get some more of these picture ones, but you can't hardly see it. Maybe young people can see it better than old people. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> today, I got a, my to-do list today. What did I going to do in the day today? All right. First of all, I have to hem two pair of pants for Carmen. She texted me last night. Are you ready? I mean, have I don't mean to bother you, but have you done those yet? Felt so bad. No, I haven't, but I'm going to. And then, um, so I got to do that today. And then I'm going to go with Jamie to the doctor, which he's probably not going to find out a bit of thing, anything, because you know why. They will just have him do tests. Still have it upside down. And then the stove. I got to call on the stove, my stove. If I do those things, then I have accomplished all I need to do today. And I needed to make this video. So I'm done with the video, and then I'm going to do that and that. So then I can come home after the doctor, and I can crochet more things. That's going to be good for you guys. So um, that's my plan for today. And um, yesterday I had so many people drop in on me. Brianna and her fiance dropped by. Autumn and her and Ezra. And I don't care if they drop by, that's fine. But it, then I don't do other things, you know, because I'm talking to them. So what do you do with keepsakes? I'm not going to hang them on the wall. Just put them with all my other junk. I got a message. Do you want to know what it is? And oh, and Emily and Todd, I told you, they aren't coming this weekend. They're coming next weekend. And so I'm still, I could go tomorrow and the weekend at Emily's. I have a $5 credit on Temu. I'm always happy to see that because they don't give me, when I overbuy and they give a price adjustment, they don't give it to me. And so I, um, I'm sad because Oh, Cameron. It's about Cameron. They want him to be it's the team leader at work. They've been pushing me more and more on the lead plates that make me a supervisor. In fact, the engin new engineers are referring to me as their supervisor. I never wanted this position. I don't mind being the lead of a team and sharing what I know and teaching the kids, but I never asked to be a supervisor, manager. They gave me a $2 an hour when they gave me the new title, I guess a raise. And I was hesitant to accept the role, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm almost to the point that I would rather give that $2 an hour up than be a supervisor. He gets it from me because I don't wanna be in charge of anything. And I've been in charge of stuff. And this one time this lady had just taken over and my sister goes, I wouldn't allow her to take over. And I said, 
anybody wants my job, they can have it. If they want to be the boss, go for it. I don't have to then. So I find I'm not a leader. But I also do not buckle unto peer pressure. All right, and there's one other thing I want to say. <clears throat> I feel so, so bad for the young people in the world, or well, maybe the old people too, struggling. Autumn, she just moved, and they're struggling so bad right now financially. I ordered her some diapers. They haven't come. They're supposed to come today, but I'm trying to help out. And then Jamie needs someone to help him put the fences down up at the ranch for the winter, you know. And so I said, he needs help. How about, does Austin want to earn some money? Because, you know, Jamie would pay him if he helped. And she goes, oh, we need money bad. So they might do it. He works on Saturdays. I said, well, Jamie doesn't want to do it Saturday anyway. So we, I might have lined him up help with that. And then, I wonder if it brushes. And then Chad hasn't paid rent this month because he's had so many extra expenses. And I need the rent money to pay the taxes on the house that he's living in. So, I need October rent. I'm going to have to use all my money, my Timu money, to pay taxes. And I want to use it for my teeth not taxes on his house. His rent money is supposed to pay his house money. And then, um, who else is poor? There were several people. Oh, Carmen. I got that new mattress, you know, in my spare bedroom. She tried it out and she told me how bad her bed is. Oh, and I feel so bad that her bed's that bad. Nobody should sleep in such a bad bed. She goes, give me this mattress, Grandma. Anyway, so I want to buy her a new mattress, but I can't right now because i got to pay taxes come first. But she, you know, the poor thing, she is has a little apartment. I don't think the rent's six fifty. She has a car payment, and she lives alone, and so it's all on her head. So I feel so bad for these grandkids that are trying to survive in this world with this economy and the prices of everything so much. Food prices. And then we have a used LSR, it's called. I don't know what it stands for. But it was made for the handicapped adults. And they were supposed to work there. And then you donate your stuff and then they make money. Well, now... They aren't doing it that way. And the prices, Grant had to have something pink for his concert last night to wear this, you know, for it so went along with the song. He went there to buy this little satin thin, it, Trevor goes, it should have been a dollar. Uh, and he had to pay $9 at the used clothing store for that. And the lady that took over, she looks at, on eBay what stuff sells for. And that's how she decides her prices. And Trevor goes, I've boycotted it because I'm not donating anything anymore. They get all the stuff for free and then they're trying to sell it for that price, you know. And they own the building. It's not like they're paying high rent for the building. They've been there for years. So anyway, um, I have stuff to give away too. So I think we're going to take it out of town and give it to the used clothing store somewhere else because we want them to stop gouging us, price gouging for used crap. You know, I used to go there and get a bread pan, cheap. Uh, Brianna, I said, have you been making any banana bread? She goes, no, I don't have a bread pan. And I said, well, I have one I could give you. <clears throat> I said, go to LSR, LSR and buy one. She goes, they are too much money there. The same price as a brand new one. You could go on Timu and order everything in that store they have and get it for cheaper than used from them. So that old lady needs to have a reality check. They're going to get so much stuff in there that no one, and not sell it that they're going to have to put everything on sale to get rid of it because the store was going to be so full. They get something old from the 70s. They think it's an antique and put $45 on it. Wrong. 
Okay, I'm ranting about that, and you guys don't even care. But I know you do care about the economy and how it's expensive. And the thing is, I don't think the prices will ever go down, if you ask me. And so Jamie wanted to get the four-wheeler in and have a tune-up on it. And I said, and then it sits all winter and you don't use it. And then it needs another tune-up in the spring. I think you should wait till the spring and get the tune-up instead of the fall. And besides right now, we have to pay taxes and a lot, my teeth and a lot of other things. So I don't, yeah, we're gonna have to pick and choose what to pay. I know you guys have to do that too. Pick and choose, most of us have to. Pick and choose what's most important and what to buy and pay. So my team who orders might be a little slim and thin in the future, a $30 one. I can't spend a hundred on an order because it's all useless. And you know, like, do I really need a brush that's glittery? No, I haven't two others. Do I really need this? I could just do this. So it's fun stuff, but you don't really need it. All right, but now I have a hairnet if I wear rollers to bed. Okay, thanks for watching. Give me a like, a so thumbs up, because that really helps my channel. Goodbye.